I have to say I'm super excited about this offset tool. This is something that I have been wanting for a while now and they finally are getting it on Design Space. And so super excited about it. I hope you guys are too. This is gonna bring a lot of new inspiration and really open the door to some new creative avenues for our future projects. There are multiple ways that you can use the offset tool by adjusting its size. But what's nice is that, let me click off of it. Let me bring it over here. That's the only downfall is that the offset tool does block your image if you have it in this upper right hand corner. So watch as I adjust it. You can either make it a larger offset or you can bring it down and bring it closer to where it actually outlines your letters. So you don't wanna go too far. And as you can see that there is a line directly in the center of the O, you do wanna keep going until it has a nice offset around it. You don't want any blue lines going through your letters. So you want to drag it to where it's nice and clean inside. Once you've done so and you like the border around it, go ahead and hit apply. Now look at how nice and clean that looks. All right, once you're done, you move your wording. Go ahead and bring your offset shadow box over your image, place it where you like, drag and selection, and hit slice in the bottom right hand corner. Remove your shadow box. You're gonna have to end up removing three images. And then once you are done, you can place your wording back inside. Now if you like, if you'd like to clean up these little dots here, you can always go ahead and go down to contour. And once I can see my image, you can click on these little dots if you would like to remove those pieces and make it a little bit cleaner. It is all for preference for you. And once you are done, you like your image, you could go ahead and select all and weld it together if you're doing a drawing or if you're doing a print or cutting it in some HTV. So I'm now going to come over here and I'm going to select attach so that they become one unit. And those of you watching for the first time or maybe the second or third time, if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. Please hit the like button for us. You are supporting us. You're supporting Sweet Country Glam to continue to bring you great content and inspiration for your Cricut and DIY adventures. So if you're gonna send this over and have it in infusible ink on vinyl, HTV, go ahead and send it over and apply it to your desired project. All right, friends, so I've showed you how to use the offset tool. It is pretty neat, right? I can't wait till it gets out of its beta series and it runs a little bit more smoothly. So something to consider, if you were getting a Cricut machine, I would definitely remind you that the Joy does not have a print option. And that doesn't mean that it comes with a printer inside of it. This is something that gets confused easily. You do need your own individual printer. And you can go ahead and see some links below to some recommendations. So if you would like to have the print option, you do need to invest in the Air 2 or in the Maker. Please check out future tutorials as I utilize this offset tool for some of my future crafting adventures. I hope to bring you some inspiration with them. So friends, remember, life is sweet, set some goals, and have a blessed day.